What's up, everybody? It's your Mr. Monday in the building. You're here with Kyron from Transpop, Trans POC. And this week, we'll be bringing in the topic of interracial dating. As you can hear, got a little Usher in the background, set the mood. I actually really like this song. If you do too, if you could tell what it is, because there's a lot of noise in the background. But, Superstar. Um, not his remix version of how he sang the Luther Vandross hit, but his version from Conf Confessions 2003. Y'all know that CD. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, but yes, we'll be talking about interracial dating and our thoughts and views on it and if we participate in it and not, or not. So I'll start off with my thoughts and views on interracial dating. Um, I am personally somebody who's all for interracial dating um, just because of the fact it does provide that opportunity to get to know somebody uh, outside of their race or their nationality and also learn um, more about their culture and things like that. But with getting to know somebody, it's like you kind of eliminate that, oh, this person's black or oh, this person's white, this person is a dog lover, this person is a music lover, things like that. So you kind of separate those things that stop us from coming together and focus on the things that bring us together, like our interests and things like that. So, and with that, you learn about many different cultures. I know from my experience with a Latina girl, I was able to learn more about her culture and her family. And that was actually my first and only experience. <laughs> but um, we're still really good friends, but it was awesome to learn more about like different music that the Latino culture listens to, like uh, bachata, I like that, bachata. I hope I still said it right. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but um, but it was very awesome. That experience was very awesome. And uh, do I participate in uh, interracial dating? I do participate in it. And, um, you know, I have no judgment against people of a different race or a different nationality because my parents didn't raise me to be like that. Um, the unfortunate thing about how my family views it as a, in a general aspect, like extended family, um, you know, if I brought somebody of the different of a different race to my family reunion, I won't say it'll cause a big uproar uproar, sorry, but it would you know cause some talking. <laughs> but I mean for me it's like I already done some pretty drastic things in my family, so they'll probably look at me like, well I shouldn't even be surprised anymore. <laughs> but um but yes I do I do enjoy or I do participate in interracial dating. Um, I would say in general my preference would be African American black women but I don't let that be the sole reason for dating somebody of course. Um, and more I would say my preference is just more due to my surroundings and my family and my community since I grew up in a predominantly black community. so. That's that, but it does not mean that I would not date somebody who is white or who is who identifies um, as like Korean or Chinese or you know Puerto Rican, Dominican, you know African, French. Like I really don't uh, let that deter who I like or who I do not like. So. That's my views on interracial dating, so thank you for tuning in to me. Surprisingly, I got a short video. <gasps> but yes, thanks for tuning in today on your Mr. Monday with Kyron on Transpop. Hope y'all have a wonderful week. Stay tuned for... You have Phoenix next, <laughs> then Ting, then Kaden, and then Neo. So we are... Um, opening up a new spot for a new guy so if you are interested please send us your information and have a chat with you and you know get you on board with the team thanks for tuning in i hope you guys have a great week peace love air grease <laughs>